Mandy Edwards lives in Cheshire in northern England and has been breeding and showing Cocker Spaniels for several years. We accompanied her on the routine daily walk around the quiet village she lives in. We go out every day for walks. We go in the morning and we'll walk around the countryside that we've been on today. Um, the dogs are more off lead than on lead, to be honest. We go up onto the hills nearby and they run up through the sandstone, the tracks and the, um, the woodlands up there. And they're, they're gun dogs, so they like to track. They'll scent after the rabbits. But they don't run too far. They'll run a little bit ahead of you and then they always come back just to make sure you're still there. And they keep so a bit like a yo-yo. They go forwards and come back all the time. Very loyal dogs, very forgiving as well. If you're a bit late feeding them for their dinner one day, they don't mind. <laughs> they're, uh, they're very good. You can take them out in the car for, for hours driving and they don't complain. And they're quite happy, so long as they're with people, they'll go anywhere. Mandy is involved with the Kennel Club's Safe and Sound Training Scheme designed to help youngsters like her son Jacob become familiar with dogs and to feel safe in their presence. Children do benefit from the contact of dogs. Um, I had a little girl that came to me for childminding and when she first came into my house was petrified of dogs to the point that she would hold her breath until she went blue and was terrified and I thought that was a terrible way to be around any animal. And gradually we introduced her to my dogs. First they were on a lead and kept at a distance from her so she could see them. And once she got used to the dogs being in the room, we introduced them a bit closer so that she could stroke the dogs. And eventually we were able to let the dogs loose in the same room. And now she comes and she'll take them for walks and she plays with them and thinks that they're, they're wonderful. In the short time I spent with Mandy, she seemed an extremely happy and contented person, especially since she had a litter of tiny four-week-old puppies. I asked her if she could imagine a life without her cherished Cocker Spaniels. At one point we had um, a dog and we lost the dog and had a year without a, uh, without a pet and the house was completely empty. You'd come in from, uh, from being out for the day, you'd come in and there'd be nobody to greet you and you'd be walking around the house and there's nobody there by your feet watching your every move. Um, it's the companionship that, that you'd miss. Yeah, it'd be a, a sad place without dogs, wouldn't it? Yes, sad place without dogs. 